Hey, I'm James from Smoking That Barbecue, and today I am doing an accessory, head to head, or accessory for that matter, head to head, to find out which aftermarket gear made by Kamado Joe or Big Green Egg enhances the experience best for your ceramic Kamado. Let's find out. So, let me tell you what's in store for today's video. I want to cover three topics. The first is the most popular question that I get is James, does this fit if I have a Big Green Egg or if I have a Kamado Joe? Can I use each other company's accessories? inside my Kamado. So I'm gonna do a fitment test using a classic and a large big green egg to confirm the accessories in terms of what fits and what doesn't fit if you wanna go cross-brand shopping. I'm also gonna walk through the specs, the features, and the prices to see if there's any difference uh, between the two. And last but not least, innovation and see. Some of these accessories like the Jotisserie came out, I believe it was around 2015, 2016, and the Big Green Egg rotisserie kit has come out rounding up to a decade later, just about eight years at this point, to see innovation in terms of what's new and improved. So if you haven't yet locked into an ecosystem with a rotisserie from Kamado Joe or Big Green Egg, which is best between the two for your hard-earned dollar? Before we get started, I want to thank my friends at Barbecues Galore for helping make today's video possible. Today's video isn't sponsored or supported by either uh, manufacturer. Uh, I reached out to Big Green Egg to ask if they'd be willing to provide any demo gear, and like normal, they just never write me back. And so my friends at Barbecues Galore gave me enough of a discount. You can see the price tag on these things, $399 Canadian. This is super expensive. Despite what uh, rumors might exist, YouTube is not a license to print money if I'm lucky on a good video if I cover the cost of a brisket. So this is not enough to cover the cost of this gear. And so they were willing to help subsidize and do the part that Big Green Egg just never writes me back and confirms and give me enough of a deal on this gear that we could do the accessory test and confirm what fit. For me, the accessory ecosystem is a really important part of making a decision of which brand Kamado to go with. It may not be obvious looking behind me based on the amount of red, but I actually started with Big Green Egg. I had four, bought four eggs before Kamado Joe was ever even a company. So my love affair and experience with Big Green Egg goes back deep to about 15 years ago. But one of the things that I slowly became more and more frustrated with, especially after Kamado Joe and others started to innovate in the Kamado space with new accessories, whether it be like the Joe Tisserie, which we're gonna to evaluate today, or things like the slow roller, which was the straw that broke the camel's back. Accessories are a really important part of the owner experience. Whether you have a Kamado and you're trying to get more out of it, or you're on the fence of which brand to pick and you can't quite make up your mind on the Kamado unit itself, the accessory ecosystem can be a big part of helping you decide which brand might be right for you. So I've used the analogy before, Kamados to me are a little bit like the sport utility of the grilling and smoking world. If you were to think about you know, a transport truck, my offset. If I want to carry a bunch of ribs or brisket, you know, an offset is the best tool for that. If I want something quick and easy and fired up, you might be thinking about a kettle. If I want autonomous control like a Tesla, I could get something like a Connected Joe or a pellet grill that will run itself and technology will do all the hard work for me. But what I love about a Kamado grill, if you could only own one grill, I can do everything from smoking a brisket to searing a steak, to cooking a pizza. So for the all in all, just like the sports utility vehicle, while you might make a couple trade-offs on performance, size, capacity, the fact that it can do a little bit of everything and do it pretty well is one of the reasons that I am 100% Team Kamado, and I think that they are one of the best all around grills to own if you could only have one. So let's start with the easy one right away. And one of the ones I get asked most often, which is sitting right in front of me here is the slow roll. This is something that comes on the Series 3 Classic or Big Joe, or you can buy it if you want as a standalone accessory. Now I've done a test comparing my oldest, which I bought my Series 1 Kamado Joe Big Joe versus my Series 3. And to my surprise, doing a blind taste test, I could barely tell a difference between a grill that costs half as much as the newest one. So I'm not necessarily sure you need to rush out and buy the slow roller, but for those that already have it or in the market to get one, I can absolutely confirm that the slow roller fits. Now I know this by testing it myself in my neighbor's large 
big green egg and I'll show you a video overlay of it fitting. But there was also a video I saw Chef Tom Jackson do about a year ago where they did a complete cook using the slow roller accessory. The only caveat here is that when you buy a standalone slow roller, you cannot use your sort of stock expander if you have that. You use the dedicated grid that comes with the slow roller accessory. And that was the only way that I was able to get this to fit inside the big green egg. Let's get into our second question. And out of the three, this one is the most interesting to me, which is the rotisserie. Now I've been in a Kamado long enough to remember when Big Green Egg officially released a video around the time that Kamado Joe came out with the rotisserie saying this is just marketing nonsense. You don't need it. In fact, they haven't deleted that video since they've launched their rotisserie. So let uh, me play a quick clip here of Dr. Ray Lampy explaining why you don't need a rotisserie in a Big Green Egg. I actually think it's kind of funny that they think we didn't think of that. We've got guys that are always designing and testing new products, innovative stuff. Don't think we didn't try that. But in the case of a big green egg, it's just not necessary. When you put the convector in and you get the temperature all evened out in here, it's a convection oven. We've already got that going on. You take the chicken, you put it on this. This is a vertical poultry roaster. This is the one for a turkey, but we've got a smaller one for the chicken. The heat can get all up underneath here. The skin's all on the outside and available when the heat's swirling around and getting nice and hot. It's going to get crispy. It's going to cook better than a rotisserie chicken, and you don't have to plug anything in. Sometimes simplicity yields the best results. Clearly, in eight years, something has changed at Big Green Egg, and I'm excited as a customer because back when I was only Big Green Egg and I bought up to four, uh, I, one of the things that I was frustrated about was the lack of keeping pace with others, bringing out new accessories, new experiences. And I watched that video of Big Green Egg explaining, you don't need a rotisserie. And it's like, yeah, you're right. Maybe there's enough convection. So eight years later, the script has been flipped and they've launched their own rotisserie product. And with eight years to think about the model and refine it, I'm excited. And I'm honestly a little bit disappointed, even fitting on the Big Green Egg, the handle doesn't fit with the acacia side shelves in their upright position. So I have to lower the shelf to not have the spit sitting directly on the shelf. And obviously, same with the Kamado Joe on the motor side, you need to drop that. So on the Big Green Egg, you're losing both side shelves, which is a standalone accessory. Those don't come uh, included for free and you no longer have any shelving unit to work with. I would honestly have hoped for eight years uh, of R&D and development and staring at what competitors are already doing in the space that maybe at least for maybe another half inch clearance on the end of the spit side would have solved this problem. But we'll get back to that a little bit more in the innovation space. Right now I'm just focusing on does it fit. So no surprise, obviously on the big green egg, it fits barring the side shelf issue. And as you might have guessed, given the Joe Tisserie has been confirmed to fit on the Big Green Egg, there's also no issues. If you can't find a Joe Tisserie and the only option that you have is the Big Green Egg Rotisserie, the Big Green Egg Rotisserie likewise also fits on the Kamado Joe Classic. And I couldn't spot any fitment problems uh, doing a quick look around uh, at all four sides. So the third most frequent question is all about pizza and the dojo. Does the dojo fit on the Big Green Egg? And now that Big Green Egg has their pizza wedges. Does that fit on the Kamado Joe? So starting with the dojo on the Big Green Egg, this is where that different uh, assembly and dome uh, hinge pattern doesn't allow for proper fitment with the dojo. And then it's not even close. We're talking about sort of one and a half to two inch gaps uh, of fitment. So you'd have to stuff that with tin foil or do something absolutely crazy to remotely try and use this. And I can't say it's recommended. As you would expect, the Big Green Egg Pizza Wedge inserts fit no problem on the large Big Green Egg, and these are compatible with the Kamado Joe. So I didn't have the same issues taking the Dojo to the Big Green Egg as I did taking the Big Green Egg Pizza Wedges over to the Kamado Joe. But I'm gonna come back to the second point I mentioned earlier around innovation. When you've got about eight years to focus on bringing out a product, I honestly hoped for a little bit more. And I'll get into all the details in the next chapter on the pricing, but the wedges don't include a pizza stone and they don't include deflectors. Big Green Egg also doesn't come with any sort of grid accessory stock. So you have to have the egg expander or something like that to go to get your deflector stones with a bit of an air gap for your pizza stone. One of the biggest complaints that the Dojo has from others, or I'll just speak fine for my own complaints, 
is the weight of the unit in terms of the damage that that can do at high temperatures on your gasket. And so I do think Big Green Egg has done a, a good job here at reducing the weight because not everything is connected. You just have inserts. Uh, I can't see that this will impart the same heat and or transfer the same amount of weight to our gaskets. That's a good thing. But the main complaint that you read online is not being able to turn off your fire. There's no door for the Komodo Joe Dojo, and there's no door option for the Big Green Egg. To make matters even worse, one of the reasons why the Dojo is rated at 700 degrees Fahrenheit, you see it right on this wing, uh, that's, that wing is there to protect your handle and route some of that hot air up. If you go above 700 degrees, as some have, from experience, I've melted my very first Komodo Joe classic handle and had to uh, replace it. One of the things that I love about Big Green Eggs and Big Green Egg when I owned it is the acacia wood handle. And I just can't see here not having any wing, letting all of that heat come up directly to something like your acacia wood handle is not going to destroy it. And so again, I'm of two minds here. I'm excited that Big Green Egg has finally started thinking about doing more than just selling a naked egg and trying to match some of the products that have been out in market now approaching eight years. But I'm also a little bummed that they didn't address the main pain points that I have, like not having a door to stop us from losing all of our charcoal and not even stealing because they don't seem opposed to now copying from Team Red, not even stealing or borrowing this idea of protecting your handle. Because if you have an acacia wood handle, I honestly wouldn't want to be doing a 700 degree pizza cook with these wedges because there's nowhere for that heat to go, but straight up to either your gasket and to your acacia wood handle. So now that we have the fitment question answered, let's move into some of the specs and the pricing because this story is not as straightforward as it might seem on paper. So let me grab my laptop because that's where I have my notes and I'll walk through some of the differences between Team Komodo Joe and Big Green Egg and how these all price out. So I've been on the interweb doing the research so that you don't have to. I'll put this up on a table beside me at the end that you can take a screenshot and have all the different specs and prices so you can do uh, your own comparison. So the reason this is a little bit complicated is there's kind of two different scenarios. If you already have a big green egg and you have all of your accessories, you're just comparing rotisserie to rotisserie, that's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna cover that first. The little bit more complicated picture is what if you don't have a grill and you wanna compare jumping into it? So for example, uh, why that matters is on a Komodo Joe, it comes with a rack system and two deflectors. And so when you buy the pizza accessory, it comes with the ring and the pizza stone. That's it, that's all you need. If you're looking at a big green egg, you start with your base egg, need the egg expander, your deflectors, which are all extra pieces, buy a separate pizza stone, and then you buy your pizza inserts. And so to make sense of some of the differences in terms of how that plays out in pricing, uh, I'll put all the details in a table beside me. So first, let's just start with the, I already own a Kamado, I already own a big green egg, and I don't need anything extra. Let's just compare the prices of the two. So in Canadian dollars, the Kamado Joe Jotisserie is $359, and the Big Green Egg uh, Rotisserie is $399 Canadian. So there's about a $40 price premium for the Big Green Egg. They're both 120 volts, so there's not really a difference from a power perspective, even though the Big Green Egg does say it can spin five pounds more. So I think it's a max of 55 pounds versus 50 pounds on the Jotisserie. Given I was testing this in the large and the classic size, neither of these grills will fit a 50 pound bird. And I would say even though while they can spin 50 pounds, the caveat here is balance. Even a 15 to a 20 pound turkey, which is about the max that you're gonna fit in an 18 inch grid, either like the large or the classic, you need to pay close attention to having this balance. You can't have all 18 pounds on the one side and almost nothing on the top and get that to spin properly. And I've experienced that with both of these motors. So despite the 50 to 55 pounds, this is really important to stress balance for that to work well, even though neither large or classic will hold anything close to a maximum of 50 pounds. Moving into the price of the pizza accessory. So the story is a little bit different here. So the Kamado Joe Dojo is $389 and the big green egg pizza inserts are $165. Again, that assumes you have everything that you already need. If you need the pizza stone, you don't have one. Big Green Eggs is $85. If you need deflectors, if you don't have those, a set of those is $106. 
And if you need a rack system to be able to have an air gap, so your deflectors, the best pizza in a Kamado is with an air gap where you have your deflectors and an air gap uh, and then your pizza stone. The Dojo comes built in with this where you drop your deflectors on the very bottom and there's a tab that holds them about a half inch apart with the pizza stone on top. This is to help make sure that we can get enough temperature and energy to radiate down and broil the top without immediately burning the bottom. So in either style grill, this is an absolute must is to have a small air gap. Now you can go completely retro and stack a couple bolts or things like that in order to get a, a gap and absolutely reduce this cost. So depending on how you look at it, for comparing Dojo versus just the uh, Big Green Egg Pizza Wedge inserts, uh, there's a $224 difference if uh, you, all you compare is the Dojo with the stone to the wedge inserts. If you buy some of those other pieces of gear, including the egg expander, then Big Green Eggs version is $292 uh, more expensive. And one more variable, if you already have the egg expander rack and you don't need that, then the Big Green Egg uh, comes back in terms of being uh, a little bit less expensive. So $33 less expensive. So that's really, really close in terms of pricing. Jotisserie, $40 cheaper. Big Green Egg, if you already have the expander rack system, $33 cheaper. So now that we've covered the camps that already own a Kamado Grow, whether it's Big Green Egg or Kamado Joe, the prices, uh, again, if you have the right gear, is within $30 to $40 of one another. Now I'm going to address, you're in the market. I said, uh, again, early on, the accessory ecosystem is one of the deciding factors uh, that helped me originally pick uh, which brand that I want to work with and many other people that share kind of why they went uh, the way that they did in DMs or comments down below is the accessory ecosystem and getting more out of your grill uh, really what's matters. So now I'm going to build out sort of from start to scratch a comparable grill. And I'm going to pick uh, two models. Big Green Egg and Kamado Joe price their uh, products differently. Big Green Egg is kind of like when I was shopping for uh, my pickup truck. You can walk in, you can get a base model, call it the Ford XLT uh, pickup, but you can more than double the price of the truck. It's the same truck, but you go all the way up to the Raptor and you are out the door more than double the original cost of the truck. Buying a Big Green Egg is a pretty similar experience because you can start with your base egg. Then you add the nest, the side shelves, the expander, deflector stones, uh, grill grippers, an ash tool, if I compare that to even the Series 1 Kamado Joe, it comes with a, a cart with side shelves, with a cooking rack system, with cooking grids, with grill grippers, and an ash tool. And so there's really no work to do here. Kamado Joe prices their products more like how smartphones are sold. You can have this year's model, which has all the latest, greatest stuff at the most price, or you can buy the previous generation for a discount. The form factor is most comparable between Series 1 and Series 2 classic to the large Big Green Egg. Same thing with Series 1, Series 2, Big Joe's versus the Big Green XL. So that's what I have priced out. But if you wanted to understand and say, hey James, you're just cheating. Well, the Big Green Egg uh, prices out almost identically, exact same price as the Series 3 with the slow roller, which then comes with things like the charcoal basket, metal shelves, and the slow roller, uh, and everything else that I mentioned uh, before. So just for clarity and the keeping the table simple, I'm gonna focus on Series 1 and Series 2 versus a comparably equipped large Big Green Egg. So Big Green Egg has started making uh, options easier by even on their own website, including bundles. Dealers have been doing this for decades. Uh, good to see uh, Big Green Egg making it a little bit easier, but this now at least includes things like your egg expander and your deflector stones and your grill grippers and your ash tools. So this is already a pretty comparable starting point now to look at the prices between Big Green Egg and Kamado Joe. So in local currency for me, this is $2,599. Then I would add the rotisserie for $3.99. The Pizza wedges for $165, a stone for $85, a basket optional, but I'm going to add it for each one. Big Green Eggs uh, version is $175, and uh, no extra need for the raised grid accessory because the expander comes with that. So in local currency, that comes out to about $3,300 uh, and change uh, dollars. If I look at uh, Kamado Joe Classic 2 for a comparison, that starts at $1699, add uh, Kamado Joe's rotisserie at $359. $389 for the pizza dojo accessory, which includes the stone. The charcoal basket from Kamado Joe is uh, $6 cheaper at $169. And because the Kamado Joe rack system doesn't come with the raised uh, expander, just like the 
Big Green Egg Expander does, uh, that's an additional $104, so I've added that. So that comes out to just over uh, $2,700. So the Kamado Joe Series 2, with the airlift hinge and the mesh gasket and a couple other differences, is about $618 less, comparably equipped, all the same stuff, versus uh, Big Green Egg. I mentioned the airlift hinge and the mesh gasket because Big Green Egg doesn't have an offering for that, at least at the time of recording this video. So an even more true comparison uh, from a product perspective is actually going back to the Series 1. So I look at the Series 1 in local currency, that's $1149 plus all the same accessories, so I won't repeat them, I'll put them on the table beside me, but that comes out to $2170 or $1168 less than a Big Green Egg. So that's pretty material. If you're looking to get into the Komodo space, that for context is enough to buy a Big Green Egg Mini Max with all the gear that you need. Or two uh, Komodo Joe Juniors uh, along with some accessories or nearly four Chargriller Acorns. So it is a pretty material uh, pricing difference. So while it's within $30 to $40 if you already are in the ecosystem, then obviously look at whichever accessory uh, will fit your grill and uh, is the best value. But if you are starting from scratch, that's why I wanted to take a minute and quickly run through these price scenarios to show that it plays itself out heavily for a price discount in favor of Komodo Joe, whether you're Series 1 or Series 2, and your worst case, $600 uh, less expensive. Speaking of less expensive, let's not forget the Kickash basket, which comes in at nearly 50% below either Komodo Joe or Big Green Egg. So if you're interested in a basket and looking to save some money, I'll put a link down below along with my affiliate plug, save an extra 5% from Kickash Basket if you're trying to add a charcoal basket to whichever brand uh, that you're working with. Okay, so now that we've covered the question, does it fit? And we've gone through the scenarios of the specs, the features, the difference, and how they all price out uh, in terms of if you're just looking for the standalone accessory or if you are ready to take the plunge and join the uh, thousands of people already loving the Kamado lifestyle. And if you're on the fence, do it. Uh, you can't go wrong with either of these two brands. They're both great products uh, and we are splitting hairs for differences, but there are definitely some advantages and pros and cons to each of these products. So speaking of pros and cons, that brings me to our last chapter here of you know innovation. So I mentioned some of this at the very beginning in terms of what I was looking for or hoping or Big Green Egg today. We've got guys that are always designing and testing new products, innovative stuff. Don't think we didn't try that. It's gonna get crispy, it's gonna cook better than a rotisserie chicken, and you don't have to plug anything in. Sometimes simplicity yields the best results. That's a pretty strong statement to release a video and not take it down saying you don't need gimmicks like the rotisserie, and then eight years later, come out with your own but not really do anything to improve on the potential you know, shortcomings of either of these products, whether it be the pizza wedge insert, not having the ability to extinguish your fire when you're all done, or more importantly, protecting if you have the acacia handle or even the plastic handle uh, with something like what the dojo has uh, coming up front. On the rotisserie unit itself, there's a lot of interesting comments that you read in terms of where things are made. So while Big Green Egg often avoids the made in China stamp, that was one of the first things that stood out prominently when I unboxed the rotisserie motor is that it's made in China. The second thing uh, that stood out to me is the waterproof or the lack of waterproof housing that it comes in. The switch is protected uh, by a little bit of a rubber seal, but the motor itself uh, is no more water protected. And so this comes back to innovation. If I think about, you know, Big Green Egg's own comments of these are gimmicks, you don't need them, and that's why we haven't come out with one, and they've had eight years to look at it. In eight years, a lot has happened. If you happen to uh, need to replace a lawnmower, you'll notice really quick, everything that used to be either plug-in or gas is now battery powered. It may not seem like a big deal, but if your grill is in the back corner, not all yards have power accessible. And so running an extension cord all the way out to the back 40 to be able to plug in your rotisserie is a bit of a pain. And that's even something that Big Green Egg was making fun of uh, in their video of why we don't need a rotisserie unit is you're struggling with power. It would have been a great opportunity to do something innovative like introduce a battery pack that you can charge inside your house, take uh, with you when you're not using it, and then just be able to plug it in and have hours of rotisserie use, no wires uh, required. Traeger in their new grills, their rotisserie unit comes with wireless meat probes built right into the grill where you can control all this. Uh, there's no connection between Big Green Egg's rotisserie unit 
and any sort of wireless uh, probe assembly. So if I was Big Green Egg and I had eight years to stare at this problem after throwing a little bit of shade at competitive products that were out at the time, and my do better version, I would have loved to see things like a battery pack to completely eliminate things like uh, the power extension cord or wireless probes. Uh, any of these things would have been a leap in bound sort of better version of a product, but instead it, it's kind of an also ran, including the fitment issue where I can't use either side shelf, at least with the geotisserie while the motor has to fold down, the other shelf remains accessible. So you can still approach the grill, set whatever it is that you might be rotisserieing, whether it's a chicken or a prime rib uh, or chicken wings. One of the things I love doing in Kamado Joe's basket or any basket for that matter is chicken wings over the live coals and I have a place to set it. But instead, it's very much an also ran copy and paste with a few more limitations, costing a few more dollars, and no net new values. So I mentioned at the beginning, I was originally disappointed that Big Green Egg, like normal, chose to not respond to my email to help support making today's test possible. But now I can't help but wonder, maybe you saw the email and you already know what I've just found out, which is there's no innovation, nothing new here. And you're finally responding to some bottom line pressure trying to compete with other products and missed every opportunity to live up to what your video eight years ago said, which is you're innovating, you're trying, you're developing new things. Because I honestly can't see how either of these products hit the mark in terms of providing net new innovation for the consumer. And as a customer of yours, I mentioned I bought four big green eggs over the years, and I was teetering between excited and disappointment, I can't help but leave with a bit of a disappointed taste on my mouth because I still hope in my heart of hearts that the opportunity for doing better is there. But unfortunately, like before, we're gonna be left waiting for that day to eventually potentially come because as consumers, that's when we win, when each company shows up at their absolute best, pushing the boundaries, challenging one another and innovating. This is where as a consumer, it is super exciting to see what these companies can come up with next that makes grilling and smoking in the backyard even more enjoyable. But unfortunately, I think we're gonna be waiting a little bit longer for Big Green Egg to move the yardsticks a little bit further. This has been an incredibly hot take. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue signing off. And remember, don't be afraid to fire it up.